this yellow plush duck lovey security blanket. Um, I always pick up security blankets. I don't care what it looks like. If it's a dollar or less, I am buying it. They are a great bread and butter item and someone is always looking for it. Now, sometimes they're long tail. Some of them are really low dollar, like 10 bucks or less. Some of them are big money, can go upwards, you know, 70 to $100, just depending on what it is. This one came from the Goodwill bins and I ended up selling it for... Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about 31 of my eBay sales. These are my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully source cheap and sell for a profit. These items sold for $35 or less, and I picked them up at thrift sale, thrift sales, garage sales, estate sales, Facebook Marketplace, YouTube auctions. I pretty much will source anywhere. All right, we are going to get started with some BOLO items. BOLO stands for Be On The Lookout. So the first item I picked up at the Goodwill Benz. I forgot to mention the Goodwill Benz, one of my favorite places to source because I love the treasure hunt. If you guys have not watched any of my Goodwill Benz videos, definitely check them out. This is a... Uh, right here. Let me pull it up for you. That is the signature. It was lightweight. It was in the bins. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab it. Is it Jean Kazanov silk scarf made in Japan? I picked this up by weight. It's $1.79 a pound. So I probably had less than 50 cents in this. And I sold this for $16.25 plus shipping. The next item is this Monsters Inc. University movie figures, toys, uh, just a mixed lot that I've picked up at different places, garage sales, thrift stores, and I combined them together to make a lot. I sold these for $14.30 plus shipping. This here is a vintage Tancer 2 signed brooch reindeer reef rhinestone enamel pen. And if you look on the back, it, well, let me find it here. It is signed right there. And I always show the clasp. Because when the little pointy part sticks out past the um, where the clasp shuts, that's a good indicator that the uh, item is vintage. Now, this is missing a rhinestone, or I probably could have priced it higher. I got this out of, I believe this came out of a dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. Um, it was a box of jewelry. I paid $50 for the whole box. and. I did an unboxing, but as you guys know, I deleted 31 videos by accident. Uh, that included my Goodwill Bins videos. It included a bunch of mystery boxes that I purchased from the thrift store. It was it was a disaster. I was so sad. But anyway, um, this was in one of those videos that got deleted. So I sold this for $15 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this Build-A-Bear workshop. Um, it's a snowflake blanket. It's just the blanket. It's got some condition issues. So what I like to do is just point out some of those things so that the buyer knows what they're going to get. I also like to take pictures of the tag. This tells that the item was from 2014. And I just put played with conditions sold as seen. And I've talked about this before. If you are listing from your phone, it does not give you the option to put this little information right under the condition. You have to go over to, to your computer and add it. I highly recommend that you do that if the item has a condition issue. That way people see it. A lot of people do not go down and look at the description, but they will see it if it's right there by the condition. I sold this for $8.40. I picked this up at a garage sale for $0.50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Cat's Meow Village Lot of Four Atlanta Christmas Series. These are retired. And I got these at a garage sale. I can't remember which one. I have picked these up on several occasions. I think this was from the one where I bought two big boxes at a garage sale and I got it super cheap. But I ended up selling these for a best offer of $28 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $41.80 on those. This is a Transformers Universe Proud Legends Class Hasbro. Robots in Disguise 2004. I got this out of a toy box, a dibble box, and I do have footage of this one if you guys want to go check it out. 
Um, it was a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. So if you go to my YouTube channel and type in Bolo Buddies Donatella Bottolino, it's going to pull up those unboxings. I sold this for a best offer of $9 and the buyer was all in for $15.95. All right. These also came from the Goodwill bins. I ended up purchasing the little um, Fisher Price house and I was able to get a little bit of a discount on that because it was considered a heavy item. And I pulled the, the house was damaged. So I pulled the trays out and I sold those. Um, one person bought both of them for $14. So I went ahead and did seven each because they were buying both. And they were all in for 2014 because they got my discounted shipping when they added items to their cart. So the next item are these candles. And I've had these listed for quite a while. They did take a long time to sell. I don't remember where I got them. I believe it was a garage sale. They're vintage interper Christmas candles, and it's a Santa, a caroler, an elf, and a snowman. And I did end up selling them for $24.50 plus shipping. I'm guessing I had probably between two and five dollars in these. And the buyer paid shipping on those. This here is just a mixed lot of Fisher Price Imagine X um, items. Uh, they, I don't think they go together or anything. They just were figures that I had sitting to the side and I went ahead and lotted them. I sold those for a best offer of $14. The buyer was all in for $22.39 and I got those at a thrift store for a quarter. These right here are ornaments and these are, this was long tail. It took a while to sell, but it took up very little space and I made a really good profit. I had about a quarter in these and I had two of them and the person bought them both for a total of $19.58 plus shipping. The next item is this Hello Kitty glow in the dark Halloween skeleton costume. Okay, so this is by Sanrio, but it's for McDonald's and these came in a thrift store mystery box and you guys, believe it or not, this sold for $7 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $12.52 for this and I sold two of them. So I had two available, so I just made it a multi-quantity listing, and they both sold. So if you ever find this little glow-in-the-dark thing, definitely take the time to list it. I know it's not big money, but they will sell, and people seem to like things that glow in the dark. These earrings right here, oh my goodness. I looked through the tote. I looked through the tote again. I looked through another area. I looked through every jewelry area I had, and I could not find them. And then I found them when I looked through the tote like a third time. They were just hanging out in like a weird spot. And do you guys ever do that where you can't find an item? It's awful. So these were torture to find. They are vintage clip-on earrings, pink silver tone, unbranded, chunky statement. I am not great with keywords for jewelry. I just do my best. But these ended up selling for $12 plus shipping. All right, this is a vintage Hasbro Disney DuckTales Webby Vanderquack Pink Duck Plush Toy from 1986. And I sold this for $24.50 plus shipping. And I got this at a thrift store for $2. The next item is this Carter's Yellow Plush Duck Lovey security blanket. Um, I always pick up security blankets. I don't care what it looks like. If it's a dollar or less, I am buying it. They are a great bread and butter item and someone is always looking for it. Now, sometimes they're long tail. Some of them are really low dollar, like 10 bucks or less. Some of them are big money, can go upwards, you know, 70 to $100, just depending on what it is. This one came from the Goodwill bins and I ended up selling it for $35 plus shipping. The next item are these VTech GoGo Smart Wheels Merry Christmas Train and Freight Train. These do have lights and sounds. I got these at the Goodwill bins also, and I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping on those. This is a vintage Shriner Mason Masonic crutches hat brooch, PCM users patent defects. Um, it does have defects, so it is missing rhinestones. And I still sold this for, I'm sorry. I bought it for, uh, I'm sorry, 50 cents at a thrift store, and I took a best offer of $12 plus shipping. This one here came out of a, it was not a mystery box. It was a dibble box. It was a toy box. This was the new old stock items with the damaged packaging that I bought from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. And I sold this for $25 plus shipping. And you guys should definitely go check out that video. These are crayons. They are vintage crayons. It's a 64 count, but it's in a special edition bank. I got this at a garage sale for $2, sold it for $15.40 plus shipping. And that sold pretty quickly. 
This here took a long time to sell. I may have had it overpriced. Um, it is an RJC Hawaiian men's shirt. It's got the parrots on it. I thought it was worth $45, but I got an offer for $35 and I went ahead and took that and the buyer paid shipping. And I think I got that at a garage sale for like three bucks, if I remember correctly. This is a Fisher Price Geo Tracks brown pipe hauler cart, and it does have the two pipes in it. A lot of times those get lost. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. I ended up taking a best offer of $10 plus shipping on that. These also came out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And these are vintage G1 My Little Pony yellow moon comb. And it's a bird, a brush, and a bear. And these go, they're little accessories. I sold these for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. The next item are these Monster Jam Lot of Nine trucks. And these took a long time to sell. Um, some of them... Like I just sold one individually that did pretty good. If you look them up, some go well individually. They're heavy. So, you know, the cost of shipping makes them a little bit harder to sell when you lot them up. But again, it has to be the right buyer. So this was long tail sold for $25 plus shipping. And those were just from different places, garage sales, thrift stores. And then I lotted them up. This is a Weebles, and this came out of a thrift store mystery box. It's vintage 1974. This is actually smaller than the bigger ones. So um, I don't know if you're familiar with these, but this little guy, he sold for $11.05 plus shipping, and he's the Western Cowboy. This is a vintage brooch lot of 10. I ended up selling these for $26 plus shipping. It's just a mixed lot of brooches. Um, I'm going to be going on Whatnot. If you guys are not following me there, there is a link down in the description. And if you use that link to join Whatnot, you will get a $10 credit to shop. Um, I keep saying I'm going to do it in August and it's not going to happen. So it will probably be September sometime before I actually get on Whatnot. I'm, I've got tons of stuff. I'm, I'm working on it. Um, there just never seems to be a good time to do it. So anyway check out that link. But this, these, these items, instead of lotting them on eBay and Mercari and Poshmark, I may bring these type of items to whatnot. I'm not sure yet. Trying to figure it all out. Um, I sold these, yeah, $26 plus shipping. I think I already said that. All right. These jockey underwear vintage from the year 2000, full rise brief men's Y front style. These sold for $28 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And I got those at a garage sale for 50 cents. This is a Mattel 2006 Imaginex Safari Adventures Elephant with sounds, and it does work. I got this at a garage sale for $1, and I sold it for $11.69 plus shipping. All right, this is a vintage necklace. It's multicolor. It's agate, and the stones are pretty large. It's really a cool necklace. I had another one. I believe it already sold. I think, I think this was my last one. And... Uh, it's hand knotted. I sold this for $25 best offer and I got that at an estate sale for two bucks. This here is a Halloween monsters, Frankenstein blow mold string lights. There's only nine. There should be 10. So I put that directly in the title. I got these out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold these for $29.25 plus shipping. The next item here is this Trifari, Crown Trifari clip-on earrings. Uh, they're dogwood flowers, and I used Google Lens to figure that out. I got these at a garage sale for $1, and I sold these for $35 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage paper mache camel laying down figure made in Italy, and I got this out of a thrift store mystery box, and I sold it for $14.15 plus shipping. And the last item is this Creative Memories from 2006 12 by 10 landscape 16 page protectors new. And I sold this for $14 and I got it at a garage sale for around a dollar. These Creative Memories that are new old stock are they're hot sellers if you price them right. I have been selling them like crazy. All right, you guys. That concludes this video. That was 31 bread and butter bolos. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here and down here. Um, if you're new to the channel, let me know in the comments how you found the channel. And if you've been here a while, thank you. And keep coming back and leave me an emoji of an owl. Hoo, hoo, an owl. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Um, check out those links down in the description. Follow me on whatnot. I hope to have a live sale soon. Um, 
Maybe I've already had one by the time this video posts. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching.